everybody, it's Becky. Welcome to week one of Christmas in July, a collaboration with Gracie21. Here is the first project I made for this week, and the theme I kind of went with this week was embossing. So I've done a bunch of cards, not as many as I had wanted to because I got sick, and then that warehouse sale came up that took a bunch of days out of my schedule, so I didn't get quite as many done, but I still got a few to show you. So this one was done using this um, embossing folder that I had showed you that was in my stash that I had picked up at Tuesday morning a while back. And um, I just embossed it on some green, this poster board, the foil poster board from Tuesday, or not Tuesday morning, <laughs> from Dollar Tree. And you get five sheets of it and this stuff is what 11 by 14 so there's a lot in one of these packages and I have found that it's great for using on cards it adds a nice shimmer with in a, for a very inexpensive price so I used that and then I used um, remember the ornament filler that I showed you I was looking around for something to put on the little ornament things and I thought mm, those would work so I just glued some of those on and then for the little star I used some of these little rhinestone sheet things from Dollar Tree that I had picked up a while back so that worked perfectly on there and then on my the inside I have just put a sentiment and heat embossed that and that comes from this stamp set from Artsy. It was this one, um, and this was in the kit that I showed you too. So there's my first card. The second card is actually the last card I did, so I was kind of getting tired by the time I did this one, but I wanted to use one of those um, stencils that, this is one that I think I already had. Yes, I did in my kit and well, did I I can't remember now if I did or if this is one of the new ones that I picked up at that warehouse sale it might be a new one I can't remember anyway what I did was I experimented a little with it first and um, somebody asked could you run these through your embossing machine and I said well you know I had that same question so I looked it up and yes you can um, it does make an impression around the edge, so you kind of have to cut it to that size, but it does work. So what I did, I had experimented a little bit first on this sheet, and I was trying some different um, things on here. This I liked this one a lot. This is the jazz um, kind of glitter glue, and then these were the liquid pearls I did for the holly berries. But I was having trouble finding something I liked over here. Um, I had some old Elmer's glitter glue and it was pretty dried up so that didn't really work. And the I had colored them first with my metallic markers but um, that I had gotten from their Spectrum Noir ones I got from Crafters Companion. They are great on dark cardstock but they're not as great on... Um, like light card stock so I mean they were okay but I just didn't really like the color that well so anyway I was fooling around with a bunch of stuff and didn't like that but then I tried it on black and so what I did was I put the stencil on first and I colored it in and then I ran it through I left that on there and ran it through my embossing machine and it, it worked pretty well to do that so um, it does have a slight it, it's not a really deep impression you can kind of see it's not you know a big emboss but it does work it gives it a little bit of embossing so I had just colored that with um, my Spectrum Noir metallic pens and I have the the metal ones to the metallic colors the golds and the silver so I used a little silver at the top of the ball here but and then I just used some of that Dollar Tree paper to back it, and I put it on to one of these um, silver cards. I picked this up at the warehouse sale, um, the hot off the press warehouse sale that I was at last week. And if you've missed that video, be sure and go look at it because there was a giveaway going on over there. Um, I just got tons of stuff, you guys. I went back 
two more times and they kept putting out new stuff. So I kept having a really hard time getting to the back section where things were individually priced because there was so much stuff that you could put, you know, as much as you wanted in a bag for $10. So I have a lot and I picked up a lot more of the stencils too. So they'll definitely be some of those showing up in some giveaways. But um, I just put it on the glitter, put it on here, and then did another heat embossed um, sentiment. And that comes from this Hero Arts pack. It's, no, is it that one? Yeah, it's that one. So I did that. So there's that card. And then I really like this one. This is one of the new embossing folders that I was waiting on that I had ordered during the last Crafters Companion sale when they had everything on their site was 40% off or the clearance. It was already clearanced and then it was another 40% off. So these were a great deal. But I took the embossing folder and this is one of those 3D ones. And so I don't know if you can tell, but some of the, like some of these are higher than other parts. Like some of these are lower. And then some of these are higher. It's really cool. I love the 3D ones. And then what I did was I took some of the um, gilding wax from Pibio that's also available through Crafters Companion. And they almost always have this on during the um, craft days on HSN. And there's one of those coming up July 11th. So, and But I have noticed they've had some of this on the site more regularly now. It used to be they put this stuff on and it would sell out within minutes. Um, it's great, great stuff and it's really fun to work with. And you just put a little bit on, I mean a little bit, a lot. That's That little jar will last your lifetime because you just put a little teeny tiny bit on your finger and this finger works best because we tend to press too hard with this one. And you just very lightly kind of do circular motions to put it on. And it just adds um, a lot. I started with a really dark navy cardstock here. Then I put a little bit of that foil paper or car poster board that I showed you earlier from Dollar Tree. Another little bit of the blue cardstock. And then I had um, heat embossed this sentiment on here. And then I added some rhinestones um, to all of that. Those came from the um, packages from... Uh, Joann's over in the little $2 bins, and I had picked these up one time, half price, I think. And then, let's see, let me find my... This sentiment came from this little set from Hampton Art, the Let It Snow. And then inside I put May All Your Christmas Dreams Come True, and again, heat embossed that. And that came from this Hampton Art set. Um... I live in Oregon on the west side of the the Cascade Mountains and we don't get as much snow on this side of the mountains as they do on the east side. And so having snow for Christmas is a, like once every 10 year kind of event. So we all dream about having snow for Christmas. So that's why I picked that particular sentiment to go with that because it really fits this area and a lot of the dreams that we have. And here's that embossing folder that I that I used from Crafters Companion. So these are really nice folders. And then my last card is another one of the Crafters Companion um, embossing folders that I picked up from that sale. That's this one. It's called Silent Night. And I had seen this last year at Christmas when they showed these. Well, not, it wasn't at Christmas. It was before Christmas, obviously. They had showed these, and I had seen it all done. I think it was all in silver on that one. But when I went on Pinterest looking for some ideas, I saw one, and I think it was maybe Sheena who had done it. I can't remember. But she had used sparkle pens to first color across, it, different colored sparkle pens, and colored across the entire card before embossing it. Well, I didn't have any sparkle pens, but I did have those metallic pens that I had just recently got. And so I tried using those, and I just think it kind of came out really cool. I put, you know, different colors across here. I had silver down here, and then I used some black in here, which actually comes out looking kind of white on the dark 
blue cardstock. It was kind of interesting. And then um, I had some golds and stuff up here, a couple of different golds, and kind of blended it all in. But I just kind of scribbled across, and and then after embossing it, I went back in and used the silver gilding wax up here at the top, and then the gold, what's this one called? This one is called, let me find the name on it. This is Empire Gold for the um, the little stable here and Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. And then these other areas over here, I used the Renaissance gold. And that, that was what she had used on her sample card. So if I can find that um, pin on Pinterest, I will link it down below. I was having trouble refinding it last night when I was looking for it. So, but if I can find it again, I'll link that because it, 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 there's a tutorial on how to do it. And it's, it's makes, I think, a really pretty card with, I just love the effect of the sky. Um, by using the sparkle pens, she was at, able to add some water drops. And so it reacted and um, made some really cool little white spots in there that looked like kind of stars in the distance too. So anyway, I just thought that was really pretty. And then for the inside of this one, I put Peace on Earth and Heat Emboss That. And that comes from this stamp set from Inka Dinka Doo. Um, I had picked this up from an Etsy shop, I think. So, um, those are my creations for this week. And I just want to let you know, I had mentioned in my warehouse sale video the other day that I think I'm going to have a giveaway. So, I have some things to put in there that are from last week's, um bag opening and I'm going to do a bag a week I think and there'll be giveaways associated with the bag reveals but I'm also going to be gathering up some of the Christmas things that um, I got during that warehouse sale and I'm going to put those into a giveaway and be giving that out on the last well announce that on the last week of the um, Christmas in July so be watching um, for that but what you'll need to do is to like and comment on every one of my videos during the this is a little stamp during the um, whole month of July on these Christmas in July videos series and um, you need to be a subscriber so be sure you're subscribed because you don't want to miss out on any of this and you're not going to want to miss out on those warehouse sale bag reveals either because there's going to be lots of um, giveaways coming from those. I got so much stuff, you guys. It's just mind-boggling uh, how much I was able to get in one of those bags. And I went, like I said, back. I got six the first time and I went back several more times. I didn't get quite as many bags the other two times, but I did get a lot more stuff and they like I said kept putting stuff out so um, you need to be 18 or older and I will announce the cutoff date for posting comments but um, just post a comment of any kind to this video and then you'll need to comment on subsequent videos in this series of mine um, and then that will qualify you for the final prize and I'm just going to keep adding to this so as I find more Christmas things in those bags over, over the next six weeks or five weeks or so. So anyway that's it for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week and we'll see you later. Bye.